Welcome to Inside Science TV. Over the years, handheld laser pointers have become cheap, popular, and easy to buy. They're very useful as demonstration aids, uh, as amateur astronomy uses. Uh, they have, uh, they're ubiquitous now, you can buy them anywhere. But be careful where you point them. Physicist Josh Hadler says a new test that measures the energy from pointers showed some emit potentially dangerous levels of energy. A 15-year-old kid bought a laser pointer off the internet, so he thought he would play around with it. And he bounced it off of a mirror, and it swept across his face faster than he could blink, permanent retinal lesions in both eyes. Out of 122 laser pointers tested, many, including 90% of green laser pointers, were not within federal safety guidelines, and some had power levels more than 10 times the legal limit. The problem is most of those devices aren't what they claim to be, so it's an inaccurate or insufficient labeling. Pointers are supposed to be limited to 5 milliwatts of visible energy and less than 2 milliwatts of infrared. A power meter revealed that over half of the pointers tested emit more than twice the limit. These devices are putting out a dramatic amount of optical power, able to concentrate that power very tightly into the human eye, that it can cause injury from a momentary glimpse. Consumers should never point them at anyone's eyes, including their own, at mirrors, and not even at windows, which can often reflect the invisible light. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.